No, Ta, I won't stay here. Sophie and Thingy might come back. Sean. Yeah. So I'll just get going. Yeah, okay. Thanks. What for? Last night. It's made me feel not quite so alone. Yeah, me too. Bye. You could make pancakes. Yeah, it's really easy. Just use egg, flour, milk, and then you're done. And how can you never made them before? So I'll we'll make them at yours, because you know what your mum's like with me. Oh, but it's fine in my kitchen, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it is my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no, we will clean up, I promise. I mean, we are really grateful for you letting us stay. Mm -hmm. Next one's ready. Oh, there you go, Rosa. You know you want to. Yeah, go on then. Hey, what happens to you are what you eat, eh? Oh, hey. sure. Right, so you're going to sort it out with Mum today? Yeah, I suppose I'm going to have to, uh, can't have another night sleeping on that thing. <laughs> uh, Jason oh. is not going to the bathroom. He still needs to shower. What? He's going to work on a building site? I'm almost starting to wish that I bought a house with an outside lamp! <coughs> <coughs> Looking forward to work. Yeah, same old, same old, you know. I meant Gary. <laughs> Oh, it must be nice, though, to get out of the house, do something, bit of banter with workmates. I suppose so. I know it's not the arm of love, but you'll soon be back there. You won't catch me working there, not where folk have been killed like that. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. If it's too much for your love, you can just come home, you know. I thought you just said that I should enjoy working. And if you don't, you've now to prove to anyone. Here's your boss. Look, then I'll buy you a drink after work, yeah? Yeah, it's nice. Morning. 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 Here he is, he's all ready. Mum, it's not my first day at school. Be seven. Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Right, you can help Jason boarding out the cabin from the past year. What's up? Um, I think I'd rather be outside. <laughs> you don't get to pick and choose. Though. So you're back. For good. In case you was hoping different. Right. Hoping that man I should know about. Like what? You tell me. Dad! Oh, you are me! Sean says she's seen you. Miss me then? Yeah, I didn't think you was gonna come back. Well, someone's pleased to see me. Yeah, Um. so you're back for good. Where's Navy Jack? In the crash. I'm glad you're there down the road. I want you to come with me. Got to pick up some of my stuff from the house. Oh, well, you might as well go now while she's at work, eh? Good idea. Hi, Ty. These tablets you gave me to help me sleep, they're not working. Are you taking them as I told you? Yes. But the, the second my head hits the pillow, my mind's all over the place. I just lie there. OK, well, I could try on something different. Thank you. But I'm worried we're trying to treat the symptoms, not the cause. Have you thought any more about counselling? I'm not sure how counselling's going to alter the fact that my daughter is so fragile and vulnerable that the slightest infection might... I know. But Fizz and your daughter need you to be strong for them, John. And if you're not sleeping, then you're not going to be able to keep supporting them. Look, I'm really struggling. She's so tiny, and I'm terrified that we're going to lose her. Let me organise something. It'd be really good for you to offload, talk to someone about your worries. It's not just hope, though. I've done things... Um, I can't tell anyone. I'm carrying around... so much guilt. Can I just um, try the other tablets and see how it goes? OK. But whatever's on your mind, you need to try and resolve it. Find some peace. If you could put these feelings of guilt in perspective, you'll start to feel a hundred times better, believe me.
rapers are disgraced to small news agents. Did you see his Levin sherbets? Had his thumb on the scale, I'm sure of it. No way was that a quarter. Yes, well, I'm not going back to Tile Street again until he's had a chance to calm down. First, do they look like police to you? Draper's certainly quicker to get them out than he is his paper boys. I think they might be more interested in Tracy Barlow's attack. Uh, hello. Uh, Mr Cole, isn't it? Used to be the news agent. Oh, I think you'll find I still am. <laughs> Just more peripatetic. You know, mobile. Uh, well, I'm DC Moore, this is DC Redfern. We're making inquiries into the attack on Tracy Barlow. I assume you know that. Uh, well, as a leading figure of the community, uh, people do tend to confide in me, yes. <laughs> well, perhaps you could give us a couple of names then. People that Miss Barlow may have clashed with? Oh, you might as well ask the same question of Hitler. I mean, she's only been back two minutes and she's already picked a, a quarrel with uh, Gail McIntyre, Claire Peacock, Becky MacDonald. If you ask her the time, she wants to know what it's got to do with you. <laughs> do I know you? I wouldn't think so. If I may refer you to the names I mentioned, I'd focus on Becky MacDonald. Not a woman to be messed with. And I've had a right set to her, but I suppose you already know that. Between Christmas and New Year it was. I mean, I, I can't give you a blow-by-blow blow account because, well, I, I, I wasn't there at the time. But... Well, that's very interesting, Mr Cole. And thank you, Mary T Taylor. That's it. I knew I recognised you. It was a very long time ago, and I haven't touched a chainsaw since. Keeping an eye out for you, Mum. I'll tell you who's making sure I didn't nick anything. Didn't have one friendly word for me. I'm not pretending to hate you just to suit her. Good. Dad, why are you taking all this summer stuff with you? Come summer, I'll need it. Yeah, well, there's no need to take it now. Well, I won't be coming back here, Sophie, so if I don't take it now, your mum will. Straight down to the tip. She won't do that, will she? Oh, you've no idea what Sophie's mum's capable of, Shan. I didn't either. Oh, Dad, shut up. Don't start. OK. Well, anything been happening I should know about? No. Like what? Oh, with your mum? No, nothing. What about Tyrone? What about him? Oh, has he been hanging around or anything? No. no. Not that I know of. But, Dad, you're not moving away, are you? Where would I go? No. You're going to have to put up with me a while longer yet, Soph. And you're our brother, OK? How's it going? Well, I've worked for better bosses. At least you can get a new boss. I'm stuck with him. Do anything about that, though? Not much. Not a mate, then? No, not really. Would you be happy for him to out with your sister? Well, you know what I mean. He's OK. I reckon the army sorted him right out. You need to sort him. Bit of a bad lad. Been in prison and all that. Prison? Does Izzy know? Yeah, she does. Doesn't seem to be bothering her. That's your butter. Yeah, give us a minute. One bedroom flat by the park. It's clean. That's the best I can say. Handy. Yeah, I've got Jack in a crest. The hours suit, so... Getting there, then. Yeah, I'm not sure going away was a good idea. You and Sally both needed a bit of space. Time. <laughs> you reckon? Well, now you're back, maybe you and Sally can start talking again without arguing. Somehow, I can't see that happening. I'll see you later. Uh, I need some more screws for boarding that ceiling. In the van, far corner. Chase! to leave decorations up, I have to say. Yeah, well, that's just what we need, some bad luck. Yeah. I trace it pulling through. You shouldn't kid about things like that. I ain't kidding. Look, you can't wish people dead. Not even Tracy. Especially as I'm in the frame for clunking a one. Mm. The next one's desperate. Well, if it's Eddie Windass, tell him no, because he's driving. You might as well leave them up, love. His luck ain't changing. Oh, I wondered if you could spare us a few minutes. Well, I was just about to open up anyway. I've told you everything I know. 
It's not you we want to talk to, Mr. McDonald. It's your wife. Well, I've already given you a statement. It's only the odd little thing we want to ask about. Like the stand-up row you had with Tracy Barlow a day or two before she finished up on life support. Well, what a tough life you lead. What's up? Dad's back. We've just seen him. Yeah, well, he's not bothered to let me know. Yeah, well, we've just been back to the house with him while he's picking his stuff up, including his summer clothes. Right. You know what that means, don't you? That's it. The done. Finito. He's got a flat for him in Jack near the park. Well, at least he's still going to be around. Just not with Mum. Exactly. You're here. Mum's over the road. My dad's I don't know where. Where does that leave me? Where do I belong? Well, I think you're quite lucky, actually. OK. Sophie, you know you're going to make it up with Mum, right? I suppose so. And you have always been Dad's favourite. No, we haven't. <laughs> he loves us both the same. <laughs> But you'll still get to see as much as you want of him. And well, you both know how welcome you are here. So you've got two, no, three homes, actually. It's just right when you put it like that. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. I'm really glad that Dad's back. Well, I think you should go and tell him. And thanks. What for? I don't know, be my sister. I didn't want to leave it open, did I? Did that purpose? Take it easy! Why'd you lock me in? Hey, Danny, put it down, will you, loon? You're an accident! No, you! I didn't! Oh, thank God! Down, will you? Hey, hey, Come on. off him! Call it, will you, Danny? It's me and you! You're an head What's going on? He locked me in that van and he thought it was funny. It was me, not him. I didn't know you were in there, did I? He put you up to it. Can't even do his own dirty work. Gary, didn't you hear? It was an accident. It's mental. Get out of my sight. And if I catch you anywhere near my daughter, you'll think being locked in the van was a picnic. Hey, 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 hey. This is a nice surprise. I don't get many gentlemen callers. Hmm. Cup of tea? Um, yeah, that'd be nice, thanks. Ah. Why, why don't you sit down and I'll make it? I'm still capable of boiling a kettle, thanks. <laughs> uh, have you heard something from Colin? No, I haven't, sorry. Is there something wrong, then? No, not at all. I'm, I just um, had an hour or two before work. Thought I'd call, see if you need anything doing. Oh, that is so kind, but you really shouldn't have. Oh, no, I'm glad to. Is it me or is it cold in here? It's cold. I can't understand the, the clock on the boiler. Heating's off when I need it, and in the middle of the night, on it comes. Well, I'll tell you what, then. You stick the kettle on. And I'll have a look at the boiler. I bet your radiators could do with bleeding as well. This argument with Tracy, what was it about? Um, I can't remember. Why is that? So many rows, this one didn't stand out. She's my husband's ex, and she's a cow. You'd row her and all. Well, rowing's one thing, Mrs. McDonald. She fell out with lots of people, but I wouldn't bet on many of them putting Tracy Barlow in hospital. I should take that as a compliment. So, uh, matter of pride, is it? Who's the hardest? Cock of the walk? I say, I don't have to prove out to Tracy. In fact, I don't have to prove out to you, neither. It's up to you two to be doing the proving. So, come on, where's your evidence? What did you argue about? You do remember. Amy. That little girl was perfectly happy. And Mummy Dearest gets out at Nick, thanks to your lot's incompetence. She starts chucking away about. What, like taking Amy back to live with her? But you know, everyone keeps reminding me she's Amy's mum. And who's this? That's Max, like my nephew. Staying with you. His mum's in Cyprus, holiday. When's she back? Are we done talking about Tracy here then? Because Stephen needs me at bar. For now. You haven't heard the last of us though, Mrs. McDonald. 
You sure there's nothing else? I, I, I couldn't impose any more. You're not. But you've got to get to work anyway. Well, I, I can come back in the morning. What? <laughs> I could do with a visit to the supermarket. I don't need much, but it, it's such a palaver. It's not a problem. What time? Could we say 11? I think we just did. <laughs> you know, John, you're everything I wished Colin would have been. Hardly. I see you tomorrow. Have you seen Kevin? What, he's back? He was here this morning when he arrived. All oh, right. Last night, can we talk about it? Uh, yeah. Not now, he's out on our job. We'll be back any time. Knocking at mine in a minute, right? Hi, Sam. Hi, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh. I've just been getting a few bits for Emily to thank her for having me. Oh. Kevin's back. Yeah, I've just heard. He seemed in a very strange mood, if I'm to be honest. Oh? I just hope you two can sit down quietly and have a decent conversation. Can't see that happening any time soon. That's exactly what he said. See you, love. Bye, Ta -ra. Ta -ra. Hiya. Very cheery, all of a sudden. Well, you got enough to contend with at the hospital without coming home to Mr. Misery. Don't be soft. I do know how you worry. Anyway, how's our beautiful daughter? Fine. No change from yesterday, really. Well, but that's good. Certainly not bad, is it? John, has something happened? Um. I went to see Joy Fishwick before I went to work. Whatever for? I just want to see how she's doing. Well, she's in a bit of a state, with her health, with Colin. Oh, no, poor thing. But, John, it is not your problem. How can you say that? Colin's a monster. What he did to us was bad enough, but to desert his mum, especially when she's old and lonely. What you did was wrong, but it is nothing to do with him and her. If your mum was on her last legs... If my mum was on her last legs, she'd steal somebody else's. You've got enough on here. Yeah, I know. I just feel like I should be paying me dues for using Colin's name to his mum. I promised I'd take her to the supermarket tomorrow. Oh, well, if it makes you feel better. And if it doesn't interfere with work or the baby. It won't, I promise. I love you. Um, do you want a cup of tea, or...? Uh, uh, don't worry, Taryn, I'll do it. Why are you worrying about Kevin? I mean, we've done nothing wrong. And whatever we do, it's got nothing to do with him. Yeah, I know, I just feel a bit... a bit weird. About what? My head's been all over the place the past couple of months, and then... last night... you were just so lovely. Yeah, well, these last couple of months has been... horrible. And it's time to move on. Especially from Kevin. That man has done his best to ruin both our lives, and we're both so much better than that. You especially, Tyrone. You reckon? I don't reckon. I know. You are a lovely, decent man, Tyrone. Don't get dragged down to his level. Please don't tell me that you've left Gary working when you two have knocked up. What? Well, thanks for pointing in my direction. Next time, can you send something a little less lethal? Like a live hand grenade. What are you on about? That nutter you persuaded me to give a job to tried to kill me this morning. You are joking. If Jason hadn't have stopped him, they'd still be looking for my head amongst that rubble. Went after him with a piece of 4 too. If they want the Taliban wiping out, get them to shut him in the back of the van. He got trapped in there, it was him. Well, an accident. Mm. But would he listen? You reckon it was me? You weren't winding him up? Is he, love? <clears throat> I'm running a site. If I wind something up, I'll buy a clock. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, yeah, right. You weren't always going to go off on one, love. I'm just glad it was me and not you.
You pair of flaming hypocrites! Oh, what on earth are you talking about? I saw him sneaking out of our house this morning. You've been away for round two. Don't be so disgusting. You've tried everything. You can't get back at me for what happened, but this is pathetic. You're the pathetic one. You're making yourself look ridiculous. Get this door open now! Oh. What's all the racket about? <laughs> No! No! What is going on with you and her, eh? Don't, Kevin! Come on, let's sell this man to Don't, man! Please. Don't you kid yourself, Sal! He's only doing this to get back at me for Molly. He'd never fancy you. Who do you think he is? Don't we have a nice one? yeah! Creeping out of her house first thing this morning! She's sneaking out yours now! You think I'm totally daft? Mum, Tyrone, that is so tacky! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I... Big man now, eh? No! Big oh, man! Dad, please don't! This ain't over! Whatever I do and whoever I choose to do it with, it's got nothing to do with you. Do you understand? This is the largest aquarium in the world. Eight and a half million gallons of water and all kinds of giant fish. Next tonight, Martin Clune's Manta Manta.